What is going on? I'm Zedmot. That is Zedmot in your creator, boosting every single Supercell game. Some of you guys are using my name in Heyday, which is amazing. I got three euros yesterday from that, so thank you so, so much. We are going to jump into Warships. We are not going to be doing this one. This is my first account that got to Diamond. This is ridiculously precarious to stay in Diamond. If you look at this tech tree, no sniper towers, no boom mines, no mortars, no boom cannons. This one is ridiculously, ridiculously hard to be in Diamond. I don't recommend this, but on the plus side, check this out. Finally, for the first time in history, 1 to 10 plus 24, 134 keys. That will get me into the right spot, but the six engine room level, I'm not quite ready for that. So this video tomorrow will be six engine room. But instead, we're going to do a little humble brag. Two accounts in Diamond, which for me is a lot of accounts. This account has all of the things. We've got boom cannons. We've got mortars. We've got boom mines. This is an absolute gong show. By the way, shout out to Zen Buddha. Should have beaten him, but I screwed up massively. No one has finished this base. No, aggress no, no one has finished this base since I installed it. Gotta throw one more shout out out there if we can find him. I assume he's way, way, way up high. I got this base from Luke, also known as, come on, we're scrolling here, Skywalker. This was Skywalker's base. It is absolutely crushing people. I will go like that if you want to copy it. Let's zoom in a little bit. This base absolutely crushes people. Like, mind-blowing. So it makes it a lot easier to stay in Diamond. We are sitting right now as number one in all of New Zealand, which I kind of feel bad because I'm not in New Zealand. This account was made in New Zealand. And as a result, maintaining Diamond is so much easier because there's no pressure. You're not, like, thinking the rocket chopper. Like, every time I've lost on my other account, it's when I fizzle and then a rocket chopper player comes along and just slowly clears my base. And it drives me insane. But this base, I don't have any of those pressures because I know that unless they pull off the absolute perfect hit, they're not going to clear the base. Seeker players are going to get four engine rooms, three engine rooms in some instances. Uh, it's just a breath of fresh air. So if you're considering going to into five engine room level, go in, get yourself some boom cannons, dirty it up a little bit. It's way easier, mind-blowingly easier. So what do we got here? We're going to do a little time to scout. We're going to poke around a little bit. Um, they are expecting us to go to that right hand. I'm okay with my Seekers going right. I really, really don't like Critter Launchers. They've been driving me insane, but I've got to assume there's going to be a Shock Mine. Like, why is there nothing here? It's a little bit surprising. We do have Artillery. We do have Critters. We have all the tools. I also have that extra GBE node. I'm going to send Brick up. I've been sending Brick up with this ability right here. The reason for that is we get a little bit of extra oomph out of it. We're going to send her up to about there. Do be aware that there's all sorts of weirdness happening when you start throwing out flares with critters. It's a bad, bad time. Didn't get the ability out. Not overly concerned at the moment. We are just going to focus on getting all of these dudes into the right spot. We're going to wait, wait, wait. Oh, not having a good time yet, but we're going to send a smoke. We're going to send a shock there. Clearing. Oh, this is just awful, awful, awful. Not getting any sort of traction on that left-hand side. Did not expect our troops to go to that left-hand side. And as a result, we are just getting pummeled. Absolutely crushed. We're going to throw some critters back there hoping that they could somehow distract all of that stuff. And now when you throw your artillery on that final, final engine room, make sure you hit three buildings. Don't even hit the engine room sometimes is important. Let's see what Bound has. That was awful. That was my first attack of the day. And frankly, it was just awful, awful, awful. But look at this. Look how much 
goodness we have. They're wasting shocks left, right, and center. They're going to have no GBE left in a few seconds. That set of rocket choppers is going to step into our pain cave right about there. Boom! Losing rocket choppers left, right, and center. And that's where this base is so much less stressful because I can have an awful hit like my seeker hit just now was awful I didn't see all the shock mines I missed out on a bunch of details and then still did fairly okay you think you're gonna sneak it in there do you let's see what these guys have to say come on you gotta get two more engine rooms bound is it gonna happen I really don't think so let's just see come on I kind of hope you to I kind of want them to get one at this point just to give them a little bit of extra oomph come on there we go. Down with bound. Throw in the shock. Cryo. Goodness. Awfully late. Yeah, that's not going to do anything for you. You already lost on engine room count, so we're okay there. Easy peasy win for us. Like it's just cruising. And that was prob that was a good attack, but that's just this this base is so 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 strong based on the boom cannons, the shock mines, the cannons, the, sni the sniper towers. There's just so much at play here, and Luke or Skywalker was winning with it, and they didn't have mortars or shock mines that I could find, so we are just that much crazier. Like, this base just absolutely rocks. It took a bit to get here. This account was way later to the diamond stages, but early diamond stages and late diamond stages are so much different. People have way different bases, so you just can't look at a video from yesterday even and say, oh, that's how I should get to Diamond, because it just changes. Mine, mine, mine. Is there a shock mine under there? Nope. That's okay. Now, they're all going to go to this left-hand side anyways. So what I've been doing in these cases is I hate having... What are those things called? I hate having uh, seekers, I mean critters, chasing after my... Uh, Seekers? Sorry. Seekers, critters, you know what I'm trying to say. So I've just been doing this. Like, literally this. We are going to drop this rocket chopper at the front. We are just going to get rid of that critter launcher. That's going to save us all sorts of pain and suffering. Then we're going to flare back into here. And I'm going to get this front engine room level. Would I have done this a couple days ago? Not a chance. Not on your life. Like, there is no chance I would have thought to just go slow, get this rocket chopper out, and this is going to change our pathing for all of our seekers as well. So, we're going to send all of our seekers to that back left-hand corner. Don't have to worry about getting rid of that shock mine right there. Neat can definitely, definitely change things up a touch. So, we're going to get rid of that shock mine right there. We're going to hopefully get this front engine room down using that rocket chopper. If not, then we can deal with it, but it looks like we are barely, barely going to sneak that off. Now we are going to send Brick out, like just going so, so slowly. We're going to flare her out there, then we're going to drop all these dudes, hoping that we can get that one, what is that called, um, iron wheel out right about now just to get a little bit of extra goodness on our troops, and then we can throw our shock right about there, knowing that our troops are going to sneak in down that line. So far, there have been zero critters shot our way. We have had those critter launchers shock the entire time, which is going to make all of this stuff way, way, way easier. Just need to sneak away now. Throw in those smokes. We can throw one more cryo bomb back here, and... I mean, this is in the bag. Look how many critters, seekers we have left. A decent amount. I don't know that we're going to get that final engine room. It's going to be very, very, very close. Did we get it? Oh, it's going to be so close. Yes, we did. All of the engine rooms. This seeker hit... Look at that. Opponent left up three engine rooms. So this seeker hit is different than any seeker hit I've done in the last, like, three days, four days because we're trying to go slow. Like, we don't have to get all of the things. We just have to go super chill, super relax, and we can keep moving up. This base, highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's a weird, weird situation where, like, let's see what El Pasi, El Paki, I don't know how to say that word. Let's see what they were trying to do. They were trying to bring some heavies, some rocket choppers, 
getting rid of that boom cannon at the back. Decent, decent, decent critters. Like those critters taking out the heavies, slowing them down, making them waste GBE. So, so useful. And they're down to a couple troops left. Like they had like two rocket choppers there trying to sneak some heavies in for late, but there's no chance. Like maybe they were trying to use cluster grenade to get that engine room down, something like that. But just crushing, crushing wins. I'll go over my tech tree carefully here, quickly here, just in case it helps. We've got, don't have that choice in the node. It's tempting though. I'm very tempted to get it right now before we go to six, just to get even more stuff. That will also help against all of those heavy choppas that are probably coming. Artillery at tick three. Tick three is cheap. Don't need to go tick four or tick five. Uh, unless you're planning on artillerying out buildings, which I'm not doing at the moment, just using that. I had a match against OP Destroy yesterday. I watched him throw a cryo bomb to get rid of one shock mine. It's a mistake that so many people are making. Don't throw cryo bombs. They get so expensive. You need them in areas like this. Use an artillery to get rid of that shock mine. If you throw critters, you're going to draw in that critter launcher. Really have to be careful about which GBE you use. I highly recommend scouting a lot, lot this season. Use all your scouting time at the five engine room level because there's so many defenses. There's so many places to hide shock mines. It's insane. And speaking of insane, the match times, I have been going at early 21, I've been matching 23s. I've been matching, we're just gonna, you know what, I tried. Um, we'll get back to the tech tree here. Brick is maxed, not really using her max levels at the moment, but I've also been using her, if there is a, a critter launcher at shore, I've been using her cluster grenade and flaring the critter launcher, and then just using two cluster grenades to get rid of that critter launcher. I know it sounds crazy, but it just means there are you don't have to shock them anymore, and you're getting rid of those critter launchers, getting rid of those critters that are going to hunt your seekers down. It's insane how much damage those things do. Went this bottom path. Don't have that extra GBE node. Finally have this extra GBE node. Critters are maxed. I made the mistake of clicking on the cryo bomb. Don't do it. For those of you who stuck around to the end, that is your Easter egg. That is worth the price of admission right there. Seeing me waste my tokens on the cryo bomb after telling everyone to make sure they don't do it. Smoke is tick one. You don't need more than that. Let's try one more time for one more battle. Just showing you the pure power of this base. And I gotta say, like I've, I've already said it a couple times, but... Just the sheer confidence, knowing that you can go slow, that you don't have to be on the brink of disaster every single second of your Seeker hit, just makes it way more relaxing, and it just means that you can win a lot more. And I don't make nearly as many stupid mistakes, although I just showed you my first hit where I made a ton of stupid mistakes. Um, it's crazy, crazy nice to not have to live on the brink of disaster. And as I say that, I'm going to go back to my other account, which is at the about to go to the 6th engine room level, and I'll be living at the... Look at that! See? 21 versus 24. I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to go slow. I am not going to rush this. They are not going to finish my base, because they got shock launchers. I think that means they don't have heavy choppas yet. We'll find out in a second. I am going to switch to rocket choppas. Now, quick note here. My riflemen are only level 8, so if they've got a whole bunch of boom mines or Sorry, boom cannons and cannons at shore. That's what I've been doing. Don't need it for this one. We are going to use Brick and her... Sure, let's go. Uh, we're going to just go, like I said, crazy, crazy, crazy slow. We're going to get this puppy out here. We're going to hold some heavies back. And my only goal here is to get every single engine room. That is my only goal at the moment. Don't care about anything else. We're just going to go crazy, crazy, crazy slow and make sure we complete this entire base. We're going to get some heavies over here. Otherwise, that right-hand side boom cannon is going to start to see us right about there. Need to get some critters on that puppy. Probably should have done critters a little bit earlier. Sometimes I forget that I have these kind of tools. Um, but I think that we should be able to get rid of that right hand side boom cannon as well then we're going to pull back to about here just need to get rid of that final 
boom cannon. There we go. Doing okay. Getting all of our dudes in there. We still have all of our rocket choppers and just absolutely crawling along. There is no rush at this moment. They've got all but one engine room, though. I'm a li starting to get a little bit concerned that maybe we made a little bit of a mistake. We're going to get some critters out. Just cruising. Absolutely, absolutely cruising. No rush. No problems. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll... Oh, they got all our engine rooms. I take that back. Well done. That is the first time someone has cleared all of my engine rooms, so I am incredibly, incredibly impressed. Well done, person. Like I said, I did not expect that at all. Now I need to change my strategy a little bit. I am incredibly, incredibly impressed, player, whoever the heck you are. Not entirely sure why I just cleared those mines with my artillery. Maybe just to keep Brick alive? Let's go. Ah, I don't even know if we're going to complete this base. Should have gotten rid of that rocket launcher. We're going to get back into here, throw a couple smokes just to make sure. Ugh, I probably should retreat right now because I don't need the engine rooms. But I'm kind of just tempted to see what the heck we can do here. So we are going to end on a failure. My base is not invincible. You know what? I'm just going to retreat. We're going to get rid of this rocket chopper right there. There's the artillery. Killed Brick. Did not kill the rocket chopper. There we go. 3-Z-0-2. Let's see what you did. What did you use? Yeah, heavy choppers. So, just when I told you the base was invulnerable, it was ridiculously strong, it turns into dum-dum bus mode. So, it's coming. It's coming. We knew this was on the horizon. And look how simple this is. Like, there is... All of the s crazy thinking and planning and things that went into earlier, earlier hits just go out the window as soon as those heavy choppers come in. So, right there. Those are on the horizon. Those are going to change the game. I'm kind of glad that we managed to see those, actually. Now, another note. Hidden Warriors suck. Don't worry about them. They are going to be useless. They only do 62.5% of the damage that a regular warrior does. Excuse me. The only advantage is you can flare them onto an engine room and they don't have to have smoke, but I don't think they're going to be useful. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. We're going to end the video right there. I can't get into 22 quite yet, but I probably lost like two stars. So yes, it's bad to match 24, but at the same time, then I think I've lost one star previously, probably lost like four or five at most there. We're still sitting New Zealand number one, knowing full well that Mackett right there is going to pass me. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a given. Shout out to Mackett as well. I I'm done. Thank you for coming in, using code ZMOD in all your games, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, telling your aunt and grandma to watch the videos. I shall talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm ZMOD. Peace.